Uh, so my set is in the goal to make Brighton High School a cleaner and more sanitary place for everybody. I'd like to install new hand sanitizers and discuss the litter problem with students. Um, so what led me to this was uh, through my research, I found out the most commonly used hand sanitizer at the school lacks one of the most important chemicals that actually is, um, makes it so they are effective. So I'm going to talk about that. I'll talk about that in the next slide. And then um, there's been a trash problem at the school for like every year that I've been here, and I think it just keeps getting worse. I just think communication is necessary, and I've just been thinking about that like every year that I've been here, so I, I want to talk about that too, and that will be later. Okay. Um, so my first objective is to remove the ineffective face and foaming hand sanitizers. So that's, they look like this one. Um, I'm sure you've seen them around. They're kind of like in the library, they're just around the school, they're in a lot of classrooms. Um, but they lack cleaning alcohol, and a lot of the chemicals in them just aren't as good. So the CDC reports that they don't work equally as well for all the classes germs. They cause germs to develop resistance to sanitizing, and they merely reduce the growth of germs rather than kill them outright. So they just aren't effective. And a good way to visualize this is I found a study that um, the University of Maryland did with um, ABC. And so you can see they covered their hands in E. coli, and they wanted to test what different um, hand cleaning like uh, chemicals did. And so you can see the no alcohol hand sanitizer left behind a ton of the germs, and like they're all still there in the incubator. But the 60% alcohol sanitizer um, killed the majority, so you can see it's a lot more effective, and it actually does what it's designed to do, rather than just like keep them there kind of, but stop them from growing. So, let's see. so my second objective is if we need to get rid of those, I'd like to install all these new ones. So I actually bought one with my own money because I wanted to like see what it was like. So I have one right here. I could pass this around if you guys want to like try it or something. It's like get some. But, um, so they I do contain the 60% ethyl alcohol like in the previous slide, so they would kill most of the germs that are the most effect effective. They're also the most like cost effective because around $87.07 of the money would go towards the dispensers. So that would be able to purchase five and then I'd use that one too and I'd like to install them next to water fountains because I think then I guess students are going between classes, they would be able to like use it quickly and like it would cause germs to not eat as easily spread between classes if you had like an accessible, good way to clean your hands between classes and wouldn't like drag it all around the school. And then I'd like to spend the remaining $212 to buy uh, 27 replacement cartridges, which should last throughout the year. So yeah, so that's my thing with the hand sanitizer. And um, my third objective is I'd like to um, actually communicate with students about the trash problem because I think it's become a huge deal. I talked with AFM, um, the lead custodian over at Brookwood Elementary, which is also part of Canyon School District. And he said making students know there is a problem is the first step, and results can often come from that alone. Because he was telling me that they had a big litter problem at the beginning of the year, and they ended up just like realizing that they weren't necessarily addressing it. And once they did, he said he was able to see changes like pretty quickly. So I'd like to, I think the, um, if we were to use already in place communication platforms, we could just like do this without cost. Um, so we, I, I think the best plan was to use like the Hello Assembly at the beginning of the year. Um, and like um, talk about the like litter problem and possibly like show pictures and stuff like that and have it as part of the presentation because then um, students would actually know it's a problem and they need to fix that. And then I think if um, that isn't as effective, I think we could also use like future episodes of Bangle News to like keep talking about it if the problem persists. Because there's a lot of time that's on there, they're like seven minutes, and I think you could definitely add like something about that to it to make sure the school is staying clean and good. Um, so here are some like examples I've seen of litter. So like I was walking down by the gym and I saw like all the lights, someone just threw like a breadstick and like ketchup on there and it was like spread all over it. So it was like it's kinda gross. And then like on the top of the vending machines there were like eight different orange peels and just like paper thrown everywhere. And it's just like these different things that I know that like we could definitely fix if and I just feel like it's never talked about. I don't think it's been talked about in any of the four years I've been here. So I just think actually talking to students about it is very important. Because like, I remember with Cade, we were talking in like your uh, peer group thing and he talked about how the atrium was closed because kids weren't like cleaning up after it and I didn't even know that was a thing, so I feel like we're just lacking on the communication like aspect of everything, so yeah. Um, so my solution is those three objectives. I'd like to get rid of the tidy sand sanitizers, um, install the Germits sanitizer dispensers alongside water fountains. I'd like to do it around six and have the administration discuss the cleanliness problem with students. I think that'd lead to a much cleaner and a more sanitary school, and I just think that would be a very useful thing to do. I think it would just make the years better, so. Um, and then these are my sources.